okay so let's take a look at how you can draw strip chart in our language so what we'll do is we'll make use of strip chart function and that will be from the base R package as well so we don't have to install any specific R package here so we just start with our studio right let's open it now first thing we will create one dimensional scatter plot like strip chart so we open our script and here we use set seed right choose one of seed then x set to r norm and we pass up to 20 now we have x then we can simply draw the most basic strip chart right and pass on value of x so let's run line by line right so for a statement we got the seed then we got value of x right right so let's see if it shows us something currently we have number from 1 to 20 right so within that observation right so next thing strip chart plot for that x value will be like this right now what we will do is we will modify some of its properties right so let's say if i choose property that says pch equals to so if you choose equals to you will also get this a pop-up that says what this particular property is you can read through that next thing you can use color set it to one then bg set to two right and line width set to two again right so if i run this particular i can get a strip chart like this right if i change this to say orange right and let me remove this right so if we add orange here and if we run this again we will have our observation in orange color right we can also remove this box as well if you want so for that we will use uh, with the comma frame set to false right so we have our output of strip chart where frame is now gone right like this we can bring it back by removing the statement right so if i also use vertical set to true the chart will be kind of flipped right as you can see like this now we can also set the tick marks with ls right so ln set to c2 and that would also show us in the output here you see from minus 2 to 1 right so tick marks now vertical we can check some of the chart methods right so let's make few changes we will change the data with set seed one right and then we will get value of x which is around and run if 100 100 right so we have our x value we can run this and see how it looks here in the global right so running message run if 1 to 100 and, 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 and something like that right so we will have to also add 0 right and then change this to 100 0 to 10 right so if I run this again it should have some reasonable values of x there right you can even check that okay now the next thing is we will be drawing some of the chart for this strip chart with methods that are 
or plot then stack then jitter right so we will take a look at those right so let's start with one of the o plot now we can take a look at first method which is strip chart so strip chart we have method or plot right so x p c h okay so let's draw our first chart method so x p c h then set to 19 cool set to 4 next line i would put in main equals to within double quotes method and then equals to and within single quote i will add over plot right then single quote again if i run this it should show me the over plot method for our strip chart right now there is also a method called stack so we use method equals to stack right so within main method and then stack can see the stack here right so if i run this we can okay so there seems to be an unexpected symbol so let's try and take a look at that here you see we missed comma so if i run this right so we get our stack if i remove this right and let's see we get back to o plot let's try to find if it works now it works it should turn to o plot like this and if we change this to stack that also works so if we paste it again and run this it should show us the difference see the difference so now there is one more method which is called as jitter right we will have to change that here as well jitter right so if i run this statement it should output in the plot like that right so we managed to draw these three plots we also managed to remove the box flip the chart then tick mark vertical and also our basic strip chart we managed to get all that now if you want to change the way you are drawing the strip chart you can also make use of existing data sets so say you have data called air quality which is part of r right so if i run this and if i try to get this okay so if view ozone solar wind temp month and day right these are the observation we have in a tableau format right so if i try to draw this strip chart now i will have to just use air quality and then dollar sign ozone right so if all we have to do is run this statement and get the output so that's another strip chart that you can get with the data set so depending on your choice of online data set you can try to use that in strip chart and see how it works right so depending on your data and requirement for viewing that data can use strip chart accordingly okay we can take a look at two data set first being empty cars and second being iris right so let's try to also take a look at that so empty cars is one of the data set if i take a look at strip chart for empty cars it would be drawn once we run this so run for statement we have our empty cars data and if we check it in a tabular way it should look like this right all the car names on the left and respective parameters to the right right so it has around 32 observation of 11 variables right so that's your empty cars database and if i run this in strip charts it should show me 
the strip chart that looks like this right and on the axis you will also find column names bg hp wt vs and carb which are visible here as well right you can specify the particular with respect to strip chart that you want to draw right now there is one more data set which is iris right so this is the iris data set now the thing is if i draw a strip chart and within that i pass on iris and then simple length so for that i will also have to modify some of the properties let's say main says length of simple right so my label isn't good enough you can come up with something your own so there is also a x lab for that axis i would be typing in simple length right and then make sure to use the comma for next line and then hit enter right then there is method i want to use jitter method right so we use jitter and then comma and then next line the color we can choose to have red pch equals to three now we have this iris data set we can take a look at that run this and you have your step chart ready if you want to take a look at iris data set you can check it in tableau form as well right so we have like 150 observation of five variables in iris data set and it's respect to strip chart that looks like this right so we have checked a few of the data sets like air quality empty cars and also looked at this iris data set and we managed to draw the strip chart for them